Imagine, if you will, a live-action superhero show where three people fight invaders alongside a man from an Earth that's split apart from our own and that has creatures that evolved from dinosaurs. Now imagine that this show crossed over with... Uh... An animated series about a salary man with a family and a fishing hobby. The crossover you definitely asked for. This is a crossover between Toys, Bakaryu Sentai, Abba Ranger, and Toy Animation's Suribaka Nishi or Fishing Pools Diary. It happened on an episode of both shows and it was pretty great. For a proper introduction to these shows, if you're not familiar with them, Abba Ranger is the 27th entry in the Super Sentai series. When the invading group Evolian plans to conquer the Earth, Earthlings Ryoga, Yukito, and Ranru will possess Dino Guts ally with Asuka, a man from Dino Earth, to stop them. Fishing Fool's Diary follows Densei Hamasaki, Hamachan for short, in his everyday life. That brief description I gave is really all I can say for the series as a whole. The original comic series written by Juzo Yamasaki and drawn by Kenichi Kitami started serialization 40 years ago. Between 1988 and 2009, the series spawned over 20 live-action films. Originally, I wrote in this video script that this franchise had seemingly no permeation into the English-speaking world outside of this episode. But later research before I finished writing reveals to me that I was just barely wrong. A more recent TV drama series has been translated. Unfortunately, I can only find them on sites that set off Norton, and I can't find the name of the translation group, or maybe it's official, I really can't tell. So I just have to leave that where it is, and know now that this episode is the only thing I know about the series. The Tale of Fishing Full Mask vs. the Avarangers Rangers aired first, meaning I'll take a look at that first. The Sentai fans, don't worry, we'll be getting to the other one shortly. We open with Hamasaki indulging in his favorite pastime in the Tokyo Bay with his boss, Mr. Suzuki. Unfortunately for them, the fish aren't showing up this morning. <laughs> Hamasaki, disappointed, returns home to rest. You kinda feel for the guy. Having one of the few joys in his life taken away for who knows how long, the life of a salaryman can be rough, but at least he has his Sunday morning to sleep in, to recover. Take your time. Be happy. Wait a sec. Sunday morning. That means it's superhero time. Sleep is forbidden. And yes, I know this branding wouldn't actually start until a month later, but hey look, Abba Ranger is on. Hamasaki's son, Koitaro, singing along with the rather infectious Abba Ranger ending theme, We Are The One, Bokura Wa Hitots. This is almost immediately followed up by another song that I was worried with stuck in my head. <laughs> Props to Imagination Station, by the way. This isn't a show they dedicated themselves to subbing, but they still bothered to add lyrics for this opening sequence, meaning they had to incorporate all these fish puns. That's nice. Hamasaki takes his family to a live show that everyone enjoys, except him. <laughs> He's not too happy, but puts on a smile for his kid. That night, Mr. Suzuki is out drinking and ends up making the claim that his company can deal with the issue concerning Tokyo Bay. Because I know when I think of construction companies, I think of aquatic monster investigations. Hamasaki runs into his supervisor, Sasaki, on the way up to work and he finds that he shares his pain. Mr. Sue calls up Hamachan and gives him the task of solving the mystery with the fish, which is not an all excuse for Hamachan to take advantage of the situation and go fishing instead of working. He runs into the classic situation we all try to avoid where you go somewhere and your work supervisor and your son and your talking dog all decide to tag along. <laughs> I kid, of course. The dog only talks in the wraparound segments. This is a very realistic show, after all. Nothing turns up after a while, but then the clouds darken. And Hamazaki seems to know this means the monster is going to show up. 
What, does he know he lives in a cartoon? The monster looking below finally appears, and detecting their cue, the Yab Rangers do too, using their teleportation power I guess they have now. They use their weapons against the beast, but that doesn't even leave a scratch on it. Sasaki is knocked overboard only to be saved by... <laughs> Super Hero Crossover you know what's an interesting tidbit about this one? Super Sentai did a crossover with a cartoon Fisherman superhero before they did one with Kamen Rider. Seriously. Aside from brief photograph cameos and live performances, Super Sentai and Kamen Rider, two franchises that shared a creator and have been paired alongside each other for so long, did not have a television or film crossover or team-up until 2009 with Samurai Sentai Shinkenger and Kamen Rider Decade. Getting back on point, Fishing Full Mask and the Outbrainers team up to fight the monster. Since nothing else seems to work, they decided to use the Super Dino Bomber. But how will they aim that weapon against a super fast moving target? Simple. Lure it out by throwing Sasaki back out into the water. I guess they just don't have any more of that bait, or he has some hatred towards his manager, which I have never heard of that happening. Super Dino Dynamite! Super Gas The day is saved when the Abra Rangers think our super humble fishing fool. Unfortunately for him, the day is, in fact, not saved. Boy Hero is feeling down, but his dad cheers him up, leaving us on a positive note. And then the fish come back. See? It is realistic. The fish return no thanks in part to some office workers. But one wonders if there really was something lurking in Tokyo Bay. Guess we'll find out. Never. The Yabba Ranger episode takes place in their world with no reference to the earlier episode. Hope you enjoyed that cliffhanger there. Following an opening scene of fishing, our protagonists watch, what else, but Fishing Fool. Which makes me wonder if they've seen the episode they were in, and as you'll find out very shortly, that's not impossible. So, instead of the monster in the bay showing up, you've only created a trinoid, the Ranger Monster of the Week, based on three different things. This week's trinoid is based on olives, bonito, and... fishing cool? Olive to katsu to tsuribaka wo kattai sasete! I'll assume they mean his fishing rod, but maybe because it was specifically from the show that what's about to happen happens. The trinoid goes on the attack, reeling in people with his rod and storing them as olives in a jar. The Abra Rangers fight him and break his rod, causing him to flee, but one of the victims he managed to take was Koitoro. There is a subplot here about the fifth Abra Ranger, Abare Killer, fighting and avoiding the main story this week, but we're just gonna avoid that for this video to keep it focused. <laughs> The best part of this is Ryoga's reaction. <laughs> He's just so happy to hear that this cartoon character has heard of them. But let's take a step back to look at this scene. The Yabba Rangers live in a world in which Fishing Fool is a TV show. Several of the people here have seen it before. After one character is pulled out of the show, to their reality, Hamasaki acknowledges their presence and asks them for help. This surprises them. The TV is talking to them. Hamasaki watches them from the TV show he watches with his son. The Yabba Rangers have just been told that they exist in a TV show. They have no reaction to this. I'm just going to put a pin in this thought for now and stay on track with the summation, but yeah, it's something. The gang begin the hunt for the Trinoid, TV included. Hamasaki expresses some concern that his son is being hurt, but Ryoga reassures him. They find the Trinoid, but before they can really start to lay into him, he reminds them of the jar full of hostage olives. Much like the last time, they need the help of a real hero. He's out of breath because he's not only jumped out of his reality, but because he had to transform into his fisherman outfit. Not the fishing full mask outfit again, but another set of clothes that he wasn't wearing earlier. He saves the hostages, the Abba Rangers pull the Trinoid up, and the Bakuri show up to fight the giant version. Man, does everyone watch this show? 
Alvareno cuts him up like fish because I expected nothing less from this show at this point, and our heroes say their goodbyes. But not everything is tied up so neatly. <laughs> well, that's simple. The Trinoid tore a hole into their dimension and Hamasaki jumped through it. I prefer my answer, but a good enough answer works for this kind of story. I don't really have much to criticize for these two episodes. Why does someone ask the president of a construction company about the problem in Tokyo Bay when that's likely a job for the local government? Doesn't matter. The meta layer thrown on top of Ranger is something kinda weird, but it's definitely not something that ruins the whole thing. It's just one of those things where when you're watching a show that has to be put out every week, you learn to gloss over some things, and I definitely think this is one of them. Both are fun, humorous, and feature some nice character moments and interactions. Check them out for a good time.